Good morning, ladies. Okay, so this is gonna be a very quick 15 minute morning flow, something that you can incorporate into your morning routine to start you up right, set you up right for the day. It's got a little bit of ab work in there. It's quite a basic flow. If you wanna have a productive day, this is how you can start. I also feel like if I do yoga in the morning, then I'm like, oh, sorry. I have my life together. So if that is something that you are interested in, then keep watching because this is a lovely flow. I'm going to start today's practice in a seated position. So become aware of where your sit bones are meeting the ground and perhaps you come to a grounding breath here. If it feels right to you, maybe closing down the eyes. And let's get centered here this morning. So just noticing your breath without judgment. Noticing its rhythm. Perhaps as we sit here this morning, you want to create an intention for today's practice or perhaps for the day ahead. We'll be here for two more breaths. And on your next exhale, perhaps we start to roll out through the neck. Again, continue this awareness through the body. How are you feeling this morning? Maybe you want to open up your eyes as we roll out the shoulders. Notice any stiffness? I know I've got some. <laughs> and let's roll out through the wrists. I always feel like when I'm doing yoga in the morning, this is something that I have to start with. My wrists always feel quite a lot of stress. Coming now into your neutral tabletop position. We're going to begin to connect our body and our movement to our breath. So make sure that your hands are shoulder width apart and that your knees fall directly underneath the hips. As you inhale, tilt the pelvis up for cow. And as you exhale, curve through the spine like a cat. Go at your own pace here, as you inhale and as you exhale, just centering yourself in your body this morning and really getting used to connecting our breath with our movement. Find a neutral spine again. Curve the toes under and push the floor away for our first downwards facing dog or Ardu Mukta Savasana. Now the aim of this is to lengthen through the spine. So perhaps bending the knees might make that more, make that easier this morning. Or pedaling out through the feet is another one that really gets you ready for the stretch. Continue to breathe here. And on your next exhale, tilt the body forwards into plank. Make sure that your shoulders are rounded, drop to the knees and untuck the toes and bring your chin and your chest to the floor. 
We'll come up here, inhale cobra. And as you exhale, come to downwards facing dog once more. From here, let's tiptoe our feet to the front of the mat. Make sure that the feet continue to stay shoulder width apart and bringing each hand to each elbow, we're going to rock through our ragdoll position, waking up the back body. Let the head and the neck be completely heavy here. And on your next inhale, let's rise up, vertebra by vertebra, bringing the hands up and above the head and back down to prayer at heart center. We'll take a couple of breaths here. And perhaps from here, you want to bring your mind back to that intention that you set at the beginning of the practice. We'll go one more time, inhale, and exhale, hands to heart center. Make sure you're at the front of the mat now, and we will inhale, exhale, forwards fold. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your elbows, to the sides of your body and keep the length in the spine, so gaze is down. Exhale, forwards fold. We're going to jump or step to the back of our mats, plank pose. We'll hold it here. Five, four, three, rounding through the shoulders, two, one, exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Find stillness here in your downward facing dog, continuing to work towards pushing the sit bones to the sky. And on your next inhale, bring your right leg to the sky. Gosh, some clicky, clicky hips this morning. Exhale, bring that knee to your nose, rounding through the spine. And inhale, back. Exhale, right knee comes to right elbow, upper body's in plank. And inhale, back to the sky. Gosh, I'm like chewing on my necklace. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Inhale, leg to the sky, exhale, right knee to left elbow. And inhale again. On the next exhale, bring your foot back down to meet the other. And this time we're going to take a chaturanga. So you can do knees, chest, chin again, or you can take full chaturanga this morning. Depends how the body's feeling. We'll lower down and we'll meet in upwards facing dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Feel the heat that you've created here already this morning. And on your next inhale, let's rise our left leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, rounding through the spine. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, upper body's in plank. Inhale, leg to the sky. Making sure you're pushing through all four corners of the hands as you come forward. Left knee to right elbow. And inhale, back up. We'll do the same again. Perhaps you can take a one-legged chaturanga this time. Gosh, I'm not sure that was very good. <laughs> and we'll inhale back to upwards facing dog. <sighs> From here, drop the knees to be slightly wider than you have done before. And we're going to drop down into our child's pose. So here, make sure you're really lengthening through the arms. Take them to the, as far 
as close to the top of your mat as you possibly can. And really feel that length through the back of your spine. I think this is such a lovely way to start your day, such a, a good stretch. We'll take two more breaths here. As you inhale, continue to lengthen. And as you exhale, sink deeper into the position. On your next inhale, we'll come back to our neutral spine, drop the bum, and bring the knees out in front of us. Um, so, I'll, I'll do this facing you. So you want to have the knees out nicely in front of you, knees bent, and take your right elbow and place it against your left knee and bring your arm, your left arm behind you. As you inhale, lengthen through the spine, and as you exhale, we're going to twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, sink deeper into that twist. One more breath here. And exhale back to center. We'll do the same on the other side. So left elbow comes to right knee. And we will twist, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to sink deeper into that twist. Continue to notice your breath here, and we'll exhale back to center. Now, bring your feet together. Uh, in front of you, and knees as far down as your hips will allow. We're going to inhale, rise our arms above us, and exhale, bring our hands back to heart centre. We'll do this one more time, and on the next exhale, we're going to fold forward. Make sure when you're folding forward that you don't curve through the spine. We're going to inhale, and we're going to just lengthen through the spine, keeping the spine long. I'm gonna stay here for five, four, three, two, one, we'll come back to center. Now from here, bring your knees out in front of you and as slowly as you can, Bring your body back to the floor, vertebra by vertebra, extending to your lying position. And from here, bring your knees in and thank yourself for taking the time to practice today. Perhaps you want to roll out through the spine. Perhaps you want to take a last happy baby and any other positions that your body feels like it wants to do this morning, take those now. And with an exhale, we're going to lengthen the legs and come to our final position of the day, Savasana. So you can stay here for as long as you like and really thank yourself for taking the time to practice today. And notice how you feel differently from you did from how you did when we started the practice. And enjoy.
I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for taking the time to practice with me this morning. And I hope this has set you up for a productive day. Perhaps I'll see you back here tomorrow. <laughs> and thank you. Enjoy your Savasana.